Right, so we're here at Langset Car Park. It's free. Free parking. Uh, I mean, it's as safe as anywhere could be. Just off the road. Just going to get going in a minute, get the sun have out. Get me Garmin out and check out where we are. And it's uh, only 7.39, so not bad. Very quiet and peaceful. I must admit. Just heading down to the water from the car park. There's toilets there, which are great. They're really nice ones as well. Um, just before you get here from the M1, there's a McDonald's about four miles from here. So, again, somewhere to stop to get a coffee before you set off. But, uh, yeah, just looking at the, uh, the Garmin. It's taken us down beside the lake for a Langset Reservoir for a little walk, first of all. We've got 10 miles today, uh, a little over 10 miles actually, I've stretched it a little bit, trying to avoid some uh, steep places that didn't look too good on the map, but here we are, and uh, I've got no coat on, but uh, I'm not feeling cold at the moment, I'm sure I'll warm up in the next few minutes properly anyway. Well, it doesn't get much nicer than this, one minute into the walk. I know the profile for the day is that the first half of the day is all up and the second half of the day is all down so I know when I'll be having my lunch I brought a cooker with me today and having something nice but there's the lake the reservoir should I say well the first 15 minutes is through that woods which is delightful coming out in the open out the bottom of the reservoir we're heading over and turning left to do a clockwise loop, so we're at the top of the loop now. Probably at about 12 o'clock on the loop. And here we are with a, a dam and a weir. Nice. what we come for this is the sort of countryside you get up here beautiful it's always the same on these walks the first uphill is torturous <laughs> your body don't seem to like it uh, it's got 10 miles to get used to it but the first mile oh dear. <laughs> right we're above the reservoir now Lovely, we've got a nice path levelling out a little bit, quite pleasant, not too much wind, no rain, at the moment anyway. Well that's where we've come from, and we're right in the middle of the heather now, we're going to go down and up over there. Well we're at the little intersection, fluffing or flouching, Hazel Head Station, Langset and Pennystone. The way we're going, Derwent and Ashop Valley, we we'll certainly leave no litter. This is the sort of track it is, it's just sort of going upwards, it's not hard, it's not overly difficult, but we'll do our 500 metres without much effort. I don't think it gets much steeper than this, so quite a pleasant walk. Oh, top of this bit anyway, all the windmills in the distance, Emily Moore television mast over there so not far from Huddersfield yeah it's been a little bit more wet here like walking up through a little brook but there's places at the side to walk it's dry I'm just trying to find a nice stone to sit down and uh, fix me blister I've got to feel a blister coming on so I want to sort it out before it gets too bad uh, stop and have my first drink I've been going for about well, probably two hours now actually and it doesn't feel like that so I probably could do with stopping and getting a drink down me well just had a little stop here put a little plaster on my little toe because it's starting to hurt always good to do that now and then I won't have a pain all day but a uh, little bottle of water 
check my Garmin, see where I am. So I'm about four and a half miles in of ten and a half, so quite doing quite well to be honest. I'm nearly at the top. So, so that bit we've just come through, that's called Cut Gate. Now we're heading across the moors where it's a bit more muddy by the looks of stuff. But we'll see. Are we weaving your way around, I think. This way. This is where uh, waterproof socks come in. Exceptionally handy. Oh, no. Went down eight inches there, that wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> bit scary. Right, let's get my coat out. Well, I'd strongly advise you not to come this way if uh, you don't have a decent Garmin or great map reading skills because the path is kind of non-existent and there's white posts but trying to stay within those white posts is very very hard. Uh, in fact there's a post over here now so you know, looking at my, my Garmin, I think it seems to say stay on this side. Yeah, it seems to say stay on this side. So, yeah, you, now I'm going uphill. I've lost my uh, marker in the distance. So, getting lost on the moors is something you could do very easily here. So, take care. And about a minute later, I found the path. I'm back on this path. Still not great, but then I'm going uphill, it's getting less muddy, so it's just on that plateau bit down there was a bit dodgy, but there you go. And there we are. Emily Moore over there again. All the wind farms. Yeah, nice long stretch here. I can see 200 yards of quite comfortable walking. That's it, we seem to be coming down off the summit a little bit now, everything's going downhill back to where we were, so uh, I'll check in a minute, but we must be six miles in, so there's a strange solitude up here, you can see why people don't come this way much. I think uh, the solitude of the moors is, is beautiful in one way, but I think there's also not a lot to see. It's not the same as going to Kinder Scout where there's rock formations break up the atmosphere here it's uh you're pretty much going through a peat peat moor and peat bog and you know it's a good stretch of the legs and nice to say you've been to this part of the country but it's not a not a picturesque walk just uh if you want to feel a bit of solitude i think my advice is if you're coming this way make sure you have a garmin make sure you have some safety equipment because if the weather wasn't like it is today you could very easily get lost because the paths are just not defined in any way so you could have been heading off in any direction even with a compass I think it would have been quite tough but uh, ooh, dropping down just nicely now it's getting very warm I can take my jacket off and I'll find the next bit yeah this bit's a little bit treacherous down here we're heading down to the little porter of the Don I think it's called Put that up on the screen properly but there's the river running by and just going to get down this bit is quite quite kind of walking down a river but i'll put the camera away so i don't trip over just come over that bridge there found myself a lovely little rock which is perfect made seat i'll sit here and have my lunch for an hour or so the weather's behaving itself there's no wind down here it's just absolutely beautiful calm nobody around so the coat's coming off early start so chili con carne for my lunch always tastes quite nice and a nice coffee yeah nice saturday to come out all week it said 56 percent chance of rain on saturday and it's uh i think it came down to yesterday and it went down to like 25 percent and it's overcast and it feels like it could rain but you know we're seven and a half miles in now according to the uh, the Garmin so oh dear a few spots of rain now get to the top of the hill I see whether it's worth getting me poncho out but 
<clears throat> hopefully it'll just drift over. There's a strange patchwork of purple over there. It's almost like where they've burnt it. Uh, I think it, it, I would say it's probably been done on purpose, but I should think up here in the summer they do, they get a lot of fires, so. So we're just plodding down the Hard Run Road, I think it's called now. Pretty much all downhill now, back in towards the reservoir. That river at the bottom was the one flowing into the reservoir at the start. So we're going to cross over that bridge again. And then it's just a short mile through the woods back into the car park. I've come a little bit longer around than what it says in the guidebook because when I looked in the map, there was a right turn up there. But it looked like a steep down, steep down a valley, like a gorge type thing. And the two footpaths weren't connected at the end, so yeah, I always take the safe route. I've uh, come up this road, so it's given me another half mile or a mile on the journey, but at least I know it's this type of walking. A little bit of rain ain't going to hurt me, is it? A little ford here. Too deep. Got my waterproof socks on. <laughs> best buy they are. Absolute best buy. Usual trick, I just walk past the marker. See on my see on my gum in here. If you can see that, there's like a zigzag. You keep thinking you're on the road, but actually what it's referring to is this signpost here. Which is a bit decrepit, so I, there's no room, wonder I missed it. But anyway, I did about 30 feet before the Garmin warned me. I could have made it right up to the main road and then I'd have been walking down the main road for about a mile back to the car park, which wouldn't have been pleasant. It would have been quite dangerous on that road as well, it's quite busy. Yeah. We're on like a road between two fields. Between two farms maybe. All nice and flat. Taking us back towards a reservoir. I think I can see over there the gully that we first went up this morning with Marjorie Hill near the top there if you can see that a nice pleasant last mile I suppose it's going to be feels like it should be a bit further to be honest because I can't actually see the reservoir yet and we've still got that little walk beside it so but uh yeah this is pleasant let's check myself for ticks when I get back make sure I've got none of those on me turned into familiar territory into that lovely wood that we started off. So we're coming down to the end of the uh, end of the reservoir now. So it can't be more than about half a mile. A little climb out now. It was a bit muddy on that section actually, under the trees. But I can hear that weir that we heard at the start. So we're nearly home. A couple of guys there on electric mountain bikes. I had a go on one the other week and you just sail up these hills and uh, the new ones from Giant, they have some great distance on them, you've not got any worries about running out of battery at 20 miles anymore, it's a yeah, good investment but you know, another great thing to do, you know you can go a, few, a little bit further, see a few, a few more things and uh, get out on the trails. Having well, said that, he's just got off to walk. <laughs> Flat battery probably. <laughs> yeah, we're high above the reservoir now. I don't think you'll see it in, in between the trees. We were right down on the water's edge when we came in. This way we don't have to climb out again, although there's some big hills here. <laughs> it's up and down a bit. 
But we're nearly there. Right, there we are. Car park's completely fallen out. We've come in early with a good idea.